Hey guys, welcome back to another exercise tutorial and today I'm going to be talking you through the high bar squat. So the high bar squat is a really excellent exercise to develop total leg development. So namely so if you want to build bigger wheels or bigger quads, the high bar squat is going to be pretty superior. So I don't want to go too much into the physiology, um, but I will run through the actual setup. Okay, so from your hand setup to where the bar placement should be, to how your knees should be tracking and also some good shoes that you could be wearing to help you execute the squat a lot better. So stay tuned. Okay, the first thing we're going to take a look at is hand placement. So a good place to start is at the end of the knurling or the rough part of the bar. Depending on your shoulder mobility, you may want to go a little bit wider, but a good place to start is quite narrow. Then coming under the bar and placing the bar on the meaty part of the traps and then you unrack like so and then you perform your walkout. We'll go into more detail about the other stuff in a sec. Okay, from the side view, you'll notice the J hooks are quite large, so I pull the bar closest to make the unracking process a lot smoother. From there, we're getting tight, expanding the chest, and we step back with a couple of steps for efficiency and squeeze the glutes on nice and tight. Now, if we take a look at this from the side view and a full view, when we get under the bar, we need to expand the chest to get nice and tight in through the lats, and we take a deep breath in, when we step out, we don't take 100 steps. Two to three steps is enough to create balance and efficiency and save energy through the squat as it is quite a demanding exercise on the central nervous system. So for every rep, we take a big breath in, expand the chest, keep our chest up and making sure that our spine is in a nice neutral position as we incline forward. Okay, now we're going to look at stance width and knees. So I find that a wider stance for me is a lot more comfortable for my genetics and my height. Stance width really will depend on what is most comfortable to you as there is no right or wrong. Ensuring that your knees are tracking over your toes and not rolling inward. And whilst you can break past parallel and keeping your chest up through the squat depth. One of the first common mistakes when performing a squat is too much of a forward lean through the descent. So the reason for this is that you're not getting tight in your upper body. And so what happens is you end up collapsing forward because there's no tightness within the upper back. So the way to fix this is to take a deep breath in, creating that intra-abdominal pressure and also keeping the chest up to make sure that you're in alignment on the way down. The next common issue with squatting can be knee valgus or when the knees roll inward and there, there could be two reasons for this. The first one could be genetic base where the pelvic width and how the femur sits in the acetabulum of the pelvis can make the ability to keep the knees out more difficult or the other issue is that the glutes are weak and you'll need corrective exercises such as good mornings or back extensions to help strengthen the glutes. Thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed how to set up the high bar squat today. If you like the video and the content, please give the video a thumbs up. Feel free to comment below for more exercise video ideas. Otherwise, we'll catch you on the next one.